Here's Tony Holt with what's new in Hollywood. With all the inside news, this is Tony Holt in Hollywood. If you think the whole world is in shock at word of John Wayne's second fight against cancer, you should see Hollywood. Ever since that long day Wayne spent in surgery, how's Duke doing has become the constant question asked in this town. It's the prime topic anybody cares about, and everybody cares deeply. Elsewhere, Wayne is a legend, a distant idol, but here, everybody who's ever worked with him thinks of him as a close personal friend, and that includes the hundreds of studio personnel who've shared Wayne's 50 years in the movies. It also includes untold dozens of reporters who found him the most cooperative of stars. Everyone who's met John Wayne has found him endearing, and that surprised many who started out unhappy about some flamboyant published Wayne opinion. After meeting the Duke, they understood. He does have a testy temper and rises to a baiting question quicker than any other public figure. He's stubborn and won't back down, but in private he's thoughtful, humorous, tolerant, and fair. Nobody's ever seen him be a bully or do one mean, petty, cheap act. His rugged but open tenderness captures every man, woman, and child who talks to him. His courage in the face of potential disaster exceeds that of any hero he's ever portrayed. I think a crusty, leather-faced old news vendor put it best when he yelled, Duke Wayne loses stomach, but not his guts. It's all very simple. To the residents of Hollywood, Duke Wayne is ours. We know him, we love him, and we're praying he'll be around for many more years. In Hollywood, this is Tony Holt.